Hello, this is Nathan Davis with Bosch Rex Roth, and I'm a senior product engineer here working with our linear systems products. And now I'm going to demonstrate servo tuning with a ball screw module, both what happens when the servo tuning is, is bad and also how to correct that. So I'm going to go ahead and start this running, and you'll notice when the carriage moves down to the end, this end of the travel, you're going to hear a, a nasty squealing sound. And that's because the longest unsupported length section of the screw is out here when this carriage is moved all the way down. So that's when it's going to start to vibrate. And the tuning is poor on this particular system, so we're going to try to demonstrate what that sounds like. So you can hear a distinct squealing sound when you got down to this end of the travel. Now one of the things you might think is this could be a mechanical problem, maybe there's something wrong with the ball screw at this particular point in the travel. But what we find is most often when you hear that type of sound, it's a servo tuning issue. So I'm going to show you how to do this, the auto tuning feature in our software to make the sound go away. Now we're going to use the tuning feature of the Enderwork software to set the optimum parameters for this particular system to make that sound go away. So you're going to want to make sure your system is not located at the end of travel because it's actually going to move the carriage back and forth in order to measure the response of the system and set the optimum tuning parameters. So in the software I'm going to go to the automatic setting of axis control. And it's going to open up a wizard and I'm going to do this tuning with motion. As I mentioned it's going to move the carriage back and forth to measure the frequency response and the feedback. So we'll click on next. Now I'm going to change this drive type to a direct drive because my motor is directly coupled to the ball screw. If I had a timing belt side drive then I could select with gear a gear wheel uh, or if I had a tooth belt uh, side drive that I would select that but in this case I have a direct drive. So I'm going to select direct drive. I'm going to leave the damping factor at the default value. Okay now I'm going to use oscillating motion to uh, set the parameters, it means it's going to move the carriage back and forth a few times. And then I click next and it's going to do the tuning. Actually got one more screen to go after I click next. So in order to actually start the tuning, then I'm going to click on start optimization. So now I'm going to start the auto tuning routine. And that's all there is to it. So now I'm going to start the motion again, and this time you'll notice that the sound has gone away after I've done the tuning. Smooth as silk, no sounds, no squealing, nothing that shouldn't be there. One note about the default tuning parameters, they're going to work in almost every application. So the only time that you need to do this tuning procedure that we just did is if you have an oscillating noise that we heard earlier. It's only when you have particular combinations of drive stiffness and mounting substrate that you're going to get that particular oscillating noise. If you need additional information, please contact us here at Bosch Rexroth. We'll be happy to walk you through this process. Thank you very much.